John Wick is now one is a very popular movie franchise. But what if I told you there are John Wick ripoffs that exist? There have been an attempt for since 2017 to make a female ripoff of John Wick. As we all know, John Wick is extremely popular. But there are various of John Wick ripoffs or similar movies to John Wick as well. There are many movies like of course Tale Upon It 2. And of course, many movies that are trying to copy John Wick. But the new genre that is that is they're trying to do is the female assassin John Wick movies. Yes, we all know, but what you type of female assassin John Wick movies? You know, we're talking about movies like Atomic Blonde. So, the movie Atomic Blonde came out in 2013. And the movie was likely heavily inspired by movies like, like John Wick. This movie didn't really do too well in the box office, it only made $100 million. It still made back its money because it was a low budget movie. And this movie was even being compared to John Wick. This movie is also complete garbage as well, you know. But yeah, this movie was being compared to John Wick. Other movies that have came past afterwards, including Anna, a complete flop and box office failure because they launched it against Toy Story 4. And also, we had Spell, another complete flop. As well, and now Ava, another similar movie, the John Wick about a female assassin. It just seems that these companies continue trying to make a female version of this John Wick. It just doesn't work. You can't really capture the lightning in a bottle twice. It is going to be very hard. What made John Wick work was because it was John Wick. It, made, it was something that made John Wick special. There was nothing special about Atomic Bond, Ava, Anna, and... Red Sparrow, you know, there was nothing really that special about any of these movies. Most of these movies flopped or bombed at the box office. Anna being one bigger one, it made only $41.6 billion at the box office, and it was a big flop. It was, if you look at the trailers, it was literally attempting to be a John Wick movie. Even, it says, one of the most feared assassins on the planet. Even though, yeah, all these movies, the female assassin movie series, though, though, and yeah, I won't be surprised that they continue making these types of movies. And especially they start taking, they start really being produced in large quantities after John Wick was made. After this movie was made, they said, okay, you know what, we, you know, John Wick, very popular movie. As well, even if you up John Wick shows up, but all the John Wick movies I think show up in similar movies as well. John Wick 2 and 3 also show up. But yeah, movies like Ava came out, Cold Pursuit also came out, but that wasn't like, you know, it was also, and yeah, there was a lot of other male assassin movies as well coming out as well. Where's that forget those movies? Movies like Cold Pursuit, Mile 22, and American Assassin, all to very low box of success, also trying to replicate John Wick's style as well, Mechanic Resurrection, and many more male ones, red ones as well, that those female red John Wick style movies as well. For example, Cold Pursuit was a very similar movie, was also trying to copy the events style a movie like John Wick did, and it flopped because of it. It basically tried to copy, basically, John Wick's style as well. There's a lot of these types of movies now that exist. And I think the reason why they're all flopping is because it, it's just, yeah, and also the women's section came out as well. As well, a lot of very similar movie, assassin movies that John Wick had, have now came out. Then now we can really say that there's a subsection of movies that are trying to, you know, emulate the success of John Wick. We all know during the 90s there was an old whole Die Hard ripoff fad. Now we're now experiencing it in the late 2019s to early 2010s to early 2020s these John Wick ripoff fad and they're all flopping as well. They're all not making money. But they all but they all have one movies like The Rhythm Section, Atomic Bond, Cold Pursuit, and Mile 22 and of course, Anna and Ava are all trying to ride off of John Wick's success. They're all trying to make movies that can be just as successful as John Wick, but failing to make what made John Wick so great. All of these movies were big, massive failures, and will likely be considered just movies that no one will probably remember in history as well. Yep, that's basically it about the John Wick ripoffs. 
movies that they have continued to come out over the years to have, to have basically tried to emulate Zonberg's success. And yeah, I bet they'll probably continue throughout this decade as well. Hollywood likes try to repeat successes. That's look at Justice League being literally released, re, re, trying to be releasing. That's like for example, DC releasing Justice League before Infinity War, so they can so they get the attempt to ha, have the more successful movie. So basically, they watched out Justice League before Infinity War. Hollywood always does this type of thing. When a original movie does pretty well, they always try to emulate its, its success. Except for like Jurassic Park, they couldn't really do try to do that. But for example, Jaws is one of the most copied movies. Is a movie, you know, Jaws. You know, there's always at least four or five stock movies that try to, you know, copy Jaws. That try to, you know, steal Jaws' success but ultimately fails. You know, and let's not forget the, and yeah, there's a lot of, you know, movies that, you know, tried to, you know, emulate. For example, the Yeti Fad of 2018 and 2019 animated films. Or, for example, a lot of movies tried to rip out The Dark Knight in the early 2010s, but failed. And a lot of movies attempted to, you know, rip off. There were lots of movies that were trying to recreate Star Wars success, you know, trying to be the next big sci fi franchise, some succeeded like Independence Day, but a lot of them failed, like John Carter. But yeah, the, Hollywood has always done this type of stuff, trying to co uh, trying to ride off a successful film's coattails. And that, and of course, that's why, and of course, that's why the remake fad and re-release fad, the remake fad, is so popular now because of Disney's remakes. Because they say, oh look, Disney's doing it and it's making money for them. So let's remake a classic film or a classic series that we like, that, that people have liked in the past, and the old classic movie series in the past, to make money off of it. And of course, that is, both of those failed spectacularly as well. So there we go. That's basically it. The John Wick fad will probably be going away. You know, probably not that so. We'll probably not be going away that soon. A lot of movies here, a lot of series, or either those some that will be a straight up rip off of John Wick, or other series that will be very similar to John Wick, but will not be called rip offs of John Wick because they obviously have movie industry has not reached the roles of the gaming industry, or John Wick clones, or movies that are just trying to emulate the success of John Wick. Of course, this is already pretty prevalent in gaming where there's games that are really being made to cut right on Fortnite and Minecraft's success and failing as well. And games that were trying to ride on Mario's success but failed. And yeah, that's basically it. Goodbye.